So the first question, 2012 um, Waves Light paper, um, we have to draw a virtual image, or the light rays and the construction for a virtual image for concave and convex mirror. Um, here's our concave mirror. Um, the only time that you get a virtual image is when your object is inside the focal length. Um, there's our mirror lines to show that that's the non-reflective side. Parallel light ray will go uh, reflect through the focal point. So that gives us one uh, ray to work with. Um, another ray is using the equal angle law. Um, same height above, below, you, you basically equal angle law anyway. You can do different rays, um, but obviously they're spreading out over here, so they have to dot, 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 dot back. Somewhere here, dot, 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 dot back. And that's where your image appears. Uh, make sure your arrows are on the on the lines, on the ray diagram, the construction things. Okay, so for a convex mirror, that's like your security mirror type thing, um, it doesn't really matter where you put your, your object because um, every single image is virtual for a convex mirror. Um, I've done this on the wrong side. <laughs> I'm going to have to draw my focal length over here and my center of curvature over here. Um, but remember, they, uh, light rays will spread out or reflect as though they're coming from this, the focal point, or you could use the equal angle law one uh, striking at the center again, but I'm not going to use that one this time. I'm going to draw the one that the light ray that passes straight through from the center of curvature through to the um, through to the uh, top of the object, um, and that one goes that way, and then it reflects straight back along the same line. That's why I've drawn those dotted lines where they are, where they cross over. That's where the images. If you're drawing your equal angle reflection, that would I haven't drawn it very well here, but that should go through the same location. Okay, B has described two characteristics of virtual images and mirrors. Um, this is a little bit strange because um, you, the, the three things you're usually looking for, uh, whether it's real or virtual, whether it's uh, upright or uh, inverted, in this case they're both upright, so let's write that down as one of them. And the other one that you're usually looking for is whether it's um, magnified or diminished. And in this case, one of them is magnified, which is the um, concave mirror. The convex mirror is diminished, so that's, uh, it seems when they're talking about two characteristics of virtual images, they're talking about two things that are always like that. Um, and what I would say is that your real virtual is where they focus on. They want you to describe something to do with virtual images a little bit more. So you might say they're not made with uh, real light rays. Uh, not real rays forming them, and they can't be projected on an image, um, uh, project an image on a screen, um, and all sorts of things like that. They're always on the opposite side um, of the mirror. Um, those sorts of things. There we go, I'm trying to keep the video short.